Good day everyone. My name is Sydney Ketebo. Today we're going to be looking at uh, CRUD database operations in Neo4j. Um, CRUD database operations in Neo4j. So today essentially what we're looking at is um, CRUD operations. Um, the acronym CRUD is from your create from create create from read update and delete operations within a database and your create operations in databases you're going to be creating um, nodes relationship properties and labels while your read operations will involve querying the graph database for patterns and network analysis. Um, the update operations involves the modifications of labels, nodes, properties and relationships and your delete operation involves the deletion of labels, nodes and properties and relationships. And you look at the three operations you create, read, update they are all graph database um, CRUD operations and CRUD operations can be uh, carried out in a Neo4j graph database and Neo4j graph database falls under the not only SQL database platform so essentially we are going to be looking at today's agenda involves the review of our graph data model create operations, read operations, update operations, delete operations. So we're going to review our data model now. Um, our graph data model is essentially um, a review of a network or analysis of persons and the relationships to their hobbies and other entities. And other entities so we'll move next to our next slide and we're going to be carrying out our create operations our create operations right here you see that what we are trying to do what we're trying to do now is we want to create our nodes labels um, along with their properties too so I'm going to swing now to my Gonna highlight my cipher query syntax. Cipher query language is what we're gonna be using in our Neo4j and graph database to implement our CRUD operations. So I'm heading there. Okay, a Neo4j Neo4j graph database is a web browser it's a web browser console and it also operates in a shell environment so i'm going to paste my cipher query uh, language and uh, cipher query uh, script paste it and i'm going to run it and choose created 10 labels and 10 nodes 12 properties and created 11 relationships I'll click on my left hand corner of the database icon and shows me it gives me additional information of what was created, the relationship types, and these are the relationship types, the label types, types of lab, the label no, um, the label types, um, properties to of relationships and of uh, nodes and labels. So We've just conducted our carried, we've just performed our create operations. We're going to move now to our read operations. Here you see the cipher query language says show all nodes with relationships. So your match syntax is what we use in querying the graph and the return displays the results from the um, graph. Um, from the graph database 
So if you're familiar with um, SQL, it's more like your select from table kind of thing, but it's actually a match. In the graph database, we say match, and these are the um, the likely gram graph database, uh, the patterns in the database, and it's going to return the result for us. So we switch, move over now to our nodes, our notepad, and we're going to copy our our query, our query, cipher query, and okay. Now we're going to paste our cipher query. Now we're going to run it. Oh, gives me an error. Is an error. Okay. Um, we're going to modify this. We're going to take out this because it wasn't declared in the, in the, the line before the return statement. So I'm going to take out this. And I'm going to run the query again. And we have a graph database query showing um, patterns. And here you see, you can see Elizabeth Adewale likes football and is also a fan of Manchester City. Manchester City is also a football team. Elizabeth Adewale works for Jackson OB and Jackson OB likes cycling and Patricia OK also likes cycling. So you can see that with uh, uh, we just performed our read operations in Neo4j and it's we queried our database and if you notice you'll find out that we actually have the um, there's a that we're going to run another query and this is going to show us it says show nodes without any single relationship so we're going to do that and head over now to our run our query and it shows uh, person, the person, uh, uh, we have five individuals, and these five individuals, four of them have some sort of relationship either to one another, to, um, to themselves, or to other entities, and and we see that Tari Pere doesn't have any relationship whatsoever so your graph database is very very it's very very effective for tracking um, um, relationships and it, it, it graphs are eating the world graphs are eating the world as a popularized quote uh, graphs are everywhere um, so now we're going to carry out our update operations uh, update operations. We're gonna say Kunle um, Afolabi married um, Tari Pere. Mind you, Tari Pere has no relationship to any single no any single um, individual or entity. So we're gonna run this query. This is uh, update operations in Neo4j. We're updating um, our graph database. So we're going to run it. So now we run our query and we're going to run it again. We're going to see, we're going to run our query again. Um, we're going to query persons. So I'm just going to click on that. And, oops, okay. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna run the query now. Say, okay, um, notes, um, writing my syntax, um, okay, the match is also match uh, syntax. 
match clause is we're essentially used in querying the database and return clause is used to display our results from the database so we are running it now oh, right now okay we've seen that Terry Perry is now Kunle Afulabi is married to Terry Perry now we want to do on we want to also um, we're gonna also modify uh, a property yeah we're gonna uh, give uh, add the additional give Terry Perry a new um, occupation we're gonna say match person node named Tarper and set current occupation medical doctor so we're gonna do that paste oh alright now Neo4j has an Intel Sense browser uh, Intel Sense built into the into its um, web browser that essentially means that it's uh, like the way you have your spell check in um, Microsoft Word or Microsoft um, PowerPoint. So now an error has been detected right here now, and it's telling me extraneous inputs expecting. So now the error here now we're going to change this semicolon sign to an equal sign, and now the error is the error has now. error has been okay oh it's just telling me that okay now it has been rectified so now we can now run our query um, it's running it now oh and it says it's already updated one pro it has added the property to tire parrot so we're going to um, query our node again Now we see that Terry Perry, current occupation, medical doctor, and Kunle Afolabi is married to Terry Perry. So right now we're going to carry out and perform our last CRUD operations, and that involves we're going to delete the entire nodes and relationship in our graph database. So we're going to paste, um, run our cipher query language and all 10 nodes deleted uh, 12 relationship deleted but just to be sure let's query our graph query again our, our, our graph database again and if you're familiar with um, SQL this is more like the equivalent to select all statement from table now, so we're gonna do that. Uh, try to just verify. So no record found. So so no record found. So um, please um, follow us on the following um, social media platforms and um, let us know what you think about the video. Like our page. Um, make comments and let us know how we can also provide you with more content and more information on graph database thank you very much